welcome to the fourth season of Is This Normal? We have been doing this for four years now. This is really, really crazy. Um, I don't know how that happened, but fabulous. And thank you, and thank you all for coming in. Um, and this is Is This Normal? I'm Emily, and this is my new co-host, <laughs> Sarah. Hey, everyone. I'm Sarah. Um, and we've got all kinds of fun stuff to talk about today, and we'll tell you about what's coming up in the mm -hmm. coming months with the show. And Super all exciting stuff. stuff. Super exciting stuff. We have more sponsors because we were, spon we were sponsored by the Center for Positive Sexuality, and we're sponsored by Exquisite Restraint Corsets. Um, and a quick shout out to Simone. Love Simone. Yeah, we love Simone. Um, and Simone is no longer the co-host of the show because, well, she's just too damn busy. Yes. <laughs> yes. She is doing wonderfully. She's fantastic. And we'll probably bring her in from time to time on a couple of things. Because she, awesome. you know, if we can actually make her make the drive. But, um, so don't worry about it. You'll see Simone again. But go to exquisiterestraint.com and get her courses. They're fabulous. And you better order now if you want something for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's coming up quick. Just telling you. Get I'm your order ready. in now I'm not if you want them in front of you. And we also want to thank Bebob Net Web Development. Uh, virtual helps us with the rest of the center's website and a lot of our interfacing and things. And he's really great and has great prices, so go there. And of course, Creative Sexuality, which the entire group is online sex ed for open minded adults. And you can go check them out, creativesexuality.org. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, lots of classes. We do classes there. We, uh, other instructors do classes. And we'll be interviewing some of those instructors Ooh. on the show. Oh, that's going to be fun. On later shows. So, <laughs> yeah, some really amazing people. And we actually have a new affiliate, Sex Smart Films. Um, and they're sponsoring the show and sponsoring the center. And if you use the passcode positive sexuality as all one word when you shop there, mm -hmm. you get a discount mm -hmm. on their products. And they have some amazing, amazing films. Some amazing products. It's great for sex ed, it's Very great cool. for researchers. Really, really cool stuff. So just want to let you know about those guys. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to thank our amazing group. You guys have been around and helping us, and thank you so much. So we have mm. uh, Tim on keyboards and Shaft on the bass over there. <laughs> and um, <laughs> right on. I want to thank our, so thank our crew. We still have Christina. Um, some of you might remember from last spring, Christina came in. She helped us co-host a little bit. She's still our researcher. She's doing research for us. Uh, so helpful. Hi, so Christina. Wonderful. Hello. She moved up north uh, to go to graduate school. Um, but, you know, the internet is an amazing thing, mm -hmm. and so she's still sending us research topics and helping us book guests and all sorts of things. Um, and Suzanne, who edits our video to place on YouTube. And she's still she's working wonderful. for us, and she's going to try to pop into a show, either the next show or one next month, and be in the audience. All sorts of fun people. All sorts of fun. <laughs> so there's lots of people who do all kinds of things. And if you want to help with the show or want to help with something else at the center, just let us know. Because mm -hmm. there's all kinds of stuff that can be done. And we appreciate that. So thank you. So I want to introduce Sarah. Fantastic Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sarah! I love Sarah. I've known Sarah for many, many years now. A long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been it's like been a long it's it's like been like eight, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just I'm like two, three, eight. Yeah, eight years. It's been <laughs> it's eight been years. Long time. It's been a long time. Um, and when Simone came to me during the break mm -hmm. from the show, and she said that she really she loves everything, loves the show and everything, but she just can't do it any longer, and she felt really bad about it. Um, and we had a great conversation, and, and I'm thinking, okay. Ooh. Hey, uh, how do you replace Simone? Because she's just so, yeah. so amazing and, and added so much to the show. And I was talking to Tim, and I said, well, the only other person I could possibly think of would be Sarah, but she's too busy, so I'm never going to ask her. <laughs> Two days later, I'm talking yeah. to Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling her that Simone has left the show. Uh-huh. And she says, oh, me, me, me. <laughs> oh, I, just I did. 
I, I have always, I've, I've watched the show, I've loved the show, I've always wanted to be a part of the show, and um, Simone, huge shoes to fill, and I love her, and um, I just wanted to be here, because I, I love learning, and I'm curious, and I'm interested, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah. So this is fantastic. I get I get a new person to play with. And it'll be fun. So to speak. So to speak. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Next it, show, you never know. You never know. <laughs> didn't didn't Simone get to grab Mika Tan's boob? Didn't that happen? Yes, she did. Show, yeah, that happened. <clears throat> that occurring. And she got hers grabbed a couple of times. She did a couple of times, yeah. <clears throat> that works. It's some boob grabbing happens occasionally. <clears throat> it's just one of those things. Um so yeah, oh, what's cool, our new chat room, thank you to Creative Sexuality, our new chat room does not censor words. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Ustream used to censor things, mm -hmm. and we had it, we did a whole show where we tried to type as many obscenities into the chat as possible <laughs> to see what ones got censored and what didn't. Mm. So we found things like gay got censored, lesbian didn't. Interesting. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, I want to, I don't remember if... Unger keeps typing censored into the chat room because he's a... He's a dork. <laughs> Thank you, Unger, for that. He's Unger. He I is. can't say what he is, I'll get censored. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think fellatio and cunnilingus went through okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Um, but yeah, we were trying all kinds of terms and some of them got censored and some... And we couldn't quite figure out why some of them got censored. Because it right. seemed, did the basic four letter type things get censored? Oh yeah, or was yeah, it, that was all okay. got censored. So just kind of the basics got censored, but. Mm. Mm. And then I think we started like trying, like the words "mukaki" and uh, a couple of other terms mm -hmm. that that are you know industry terms. Yeah. Um, Gaping. And those Gaping. were okay. Yes, and those, those <laughs> were okay. Right. Love it. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just weird. It was very strange. So, you, you know, type to your heart's content as long as you aren't purposefully trying to offend everyone, please. <laughs> uh, if you have questions, if you have comments, please throw them our way. Um, and so we've got a whole bunch of topics we're going to talk about. First, we're going to talk about Sarah for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about Sarah. Yeah. So... Give us uh, some of your background. Oh my goodness. Um, so, I'm Sarah. Let's start there. <laughs> um, you know, like Em said, we've been friends for a really long time. I come from kind of a psychology background. That's what I studied. Um, I went to an all-women's college. Lots of interesting topics there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lots of interesting adventures there. Um, and I've always been interested in why people do what they do, what interests them, what ticks them off, what makes them happy, what makes them sad. You know, I love listening to people and watching people and kind of just figuring out their human behavior. And so when Em and I started talking, I had oodles of questions about all sorts of topics. Um, and I just loved learning. And I loved, you know, kind of being able to talk really openly and really honestly um, about, you know, all different sexuality topics. Because um, I come from a, a very different background. Um, and I just, you know, I'm really excited to meet different guests and talk about different things in the media, in books, in, in film, um, and get questions from you guys and get, you know, all sorts of, of interesting information. Um, so I'm super excited to learn and to hear more. So but that's me. That's me. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, of course, get to know Sarah. Yes. Better and better. You'll hear as more. As time goes on. And, you know, feel free to ask questions and she'll yes. answer them unless she doesn't want to. Because <laughs> we'll that's see. what we do. That's what She'll always do. answer, but sometimes the answer is, fuck you, I'm not going to answer. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. And that's okay, because we believe in consent. So <laughs> you are allowed to decide what you want to answer. So all kinds of things have been going on this summer. Well, we've been on break. Tons. Um, we've been on break since June, I think. Mm -hmm. And almost like the week after we stopped airing live shows, mm -hmm. Fifty Shades of Grey came out. Mm -hmm. And I thought... <sighs> yeah. and, and then I thought, well, mm -hmm. you know, just like every other topic, 
In two weeks, no one's going to be talking about this again, so I'm not going to have to worry about this. So I didn't bother keeping up on it for like a month. Mm -hmm. And it's still, it's hanging Huge. on. It's still hanging on. I'm, uh, um, I have, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's still hanging on. I saw an article yesterday saying that it's the best, most popular book in England. <laughs> It says more about England than it says about the book. Right, yes. and this is exactly yes. what the article was saying. It was, huh, this is a very interesting statement about England. It's mm -hmm. the most popular book sold in England to date. And I thought, huh, so Gideon or King James Bible, mm -hmm. Fifty Shades of Grey. Interesting. You keep them both by your bedside. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, so I thought we should talk about the, the book a little bit. Or the books. It's three books. It's a trilogy. Yep. Um, yesterday, I was at lunch with a local sexology group, and I had the wonderful pleasure of sitting next to Lou Paget. Mm. Uh, and if you don't know who Lou Paget is, go look her up. This woman is amazing, fantastic. She's ex well published. She presents. She's amazing. And so we sat next to each other. She's talking about analyzing these books, like down to what, how many, what positions are they in? How many positions do they use? What toys? What clothes? What music times, is playing? How many times? Where? Everything. So she's right. analyzing all of this stuff for her research for the project she's working on. <laughs> um, so I couldn't help myself, <laughs> and I couldn't keep my fat mouth shut, and so I started telling her some of the issues that I've had and I've heard others have regarding the series. Uh, and talking about, well, of course, it's this virginal girl, and of course, he's this rich, handsome guy who doesn't seem to have any other personality other than that. Nothing. Um, you know, and, and of course, he's dominant, and of course, she's submissive, and, and somehow, having never had a sexual encounter before, somehow she manages to get the best little jobs ever. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Th these sorts of things. Um, and so Lou, bless her, came right back at me and said, well, have you ever read Harlequin Romance? Yes, exactly. I have. And I said, no, exactly. I have. And she said, formula Harlequin Romance. Yes, yes. exactly the point. They yeah. are formulaic to a T. She said they're absolutely it, 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 perfect yes. to that formula. They are. And this is why they're mm -hmm. so hot. Mm -hmm. Um I think it's just an, it's a, a expansion of that. I mean, those right. are, um, with, for some of the research. Sort of kinkier stuff in it. But, right. Yeah. For some of the research that I've done, I um, read several. And what's interesting about Harlequin is they have branched out. So they, for a mm -hmm. long time, it was what my dear, sweet, good friend calls bodice rippers. Right. Um, and they were, you know, very kind of tapped into their very soft in their language. And, and now they have series there's some, I think there's a Blaze series, and there's an American series, and there's, so there's all of these different kind of categories. They have even about a teen series, right. which I found interesting. Um, and it's usually about 250 to 300 pages, and there is a minimum of three encounters in each mm -hmm. book, uh, progressing in different ways. Um, and yeah, I mean, you really, you can almost get it to a page. I mean, there, some of the, the stuff that friends and I were working on for a few papers was kind of looking at what page each encounter happened on, just to see how to a T it was. Right. They were pretty darn close. Um, I know some of the feedback that I've gotten from people on Fifty Shades was that they felt it was 10 pages of, um, of kind of a scene and one page of story, and then 10 pages of a scene and one page of story. Um, I don't, I haven't read enough yet to have a feeling on it, but, um, I'm intrigued to see kind of if, if I agree. Um, now what she was yeah. recommending was that you have to read all three books because she said the first book is all from the female character's perspective. Mm -hmm. And it's not until like the third book that you get the male character's perspective on similar events, on the same events. So he doesn't fill out more as a real Character or some more person uh, until the third book, hmm. um, and then you get his trepidation and his feelings and and what he thought about these encounters um, and and his perspective of everything. So, okay, all right. Okay. So I, I'm understanding this, and 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 that I can work with a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I, I said to say, okay, I said, all right, with all of this in mind, um, how about the whole idea that she's talking about down there? And I said, could you please help me be okay with this? That in an adult <laughs> book. Down there, it's my She's <laughs> talking about down there. And Lou, really? Threw it right back in my face. Okay. And she said, she's a virgin. <laughs> Who's had no sexual experience whatsoever? You really think she's gonna call it a vagina? Do you really think she's gonna call it anything else? She's not, because she's not comfortable. She doesn't know her own sexuality. So yeah, it's down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, clearly with how how expansive how how expansive it and how um, how popular it's become, clearly that terminology has is something that people are you know feeling comfortable, feeling comfortable with, and yeah. they're they're feeling like it's. Mm -hmm. um, Kind of their gateway into, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think for a lot of people this is the first erotic they've ever read. Um, this is the first, I'm sure for a huge percentage, this is the first any kind of BDSM they've ever read, ever, you know, and um, you know, this is their kind of gateway into it. And maybe it's, it's a little, it's a little tamer, and it's a little, you know, more. 